Alright, uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening sa ating mga viewers. This is PSEI Recap and this will be our uh, watch list no? or our guide. No? Since uh, wala tayong trading by Monday, this is for Tuesday, February 26. And as always, before we do our analysis, we have a quick word from our sponsor. Alright, this comes from Proverbs chapter 1, verse 7. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. But fools despise wisdom and instruction. Alright, so there are many verses sa Bible na nung medyo bata-bata pa ako, hindi ko siya maintindihan. Right, so isa na to sa mga to. And yung, yung lessons, no? Naintindihan mo lang when you finally have gone to many problems in life. Maraming trials na pinagdaanan na yung finally understand na yung mga instruction sa Bible or yung mga salita na sinasabi niya which really uh, tells us na talagang sa ikabubuti natin no? isa sa mga realizations ko yan no? whenever uh, he is saying something or instructing us something it's uh, for our own good right? so we might not understand for from the start or from the beginning but uh, yun ang nagiging analysis ko or as I go through life and as I keep reading the word laging ganun yung pumapasok sa isip ko para sa atin din yung sinasabi niya it's for our own good and it's just there to guide us always no? so marami, marami example no? like yung sa pagpapahinga natin no? diba? It's a biblical concept na at least no for for a week you should take a rest and uh, when you come to think of it uh, talagang ano it's very counterintuitive pero when you when you take rest no and when you uh, yun nga, you you take rest uh, mas nagiging productive ka and in the long term mas marami kang nagagawa no and uh, ano pa ba yung mga ano yung mga sample niyan like yung mga ano yung mga dating dietary loss right yung mga tungkol sa mga pagkain usually yung mga sinasabi niya na dapat nating kainin is kaya niya ni-recommend because uh, mabuti siya sa katawan ng tao di ba so marami marami example sa bible and maraming uh, experiences sa buhay na you don't really understand once you experience it. Right? So, kaya nga, ang lagi ko ina-advise sa inyo is to keep reading the word and uh, just keep on reading. And uh, from what I experience, uh, talagang ano yun, maintindihan mo once you finally want the truth and uh, you want to dwell on deep sa word, maintindihan mo at maintindihan yung uh, kanyang sinasabi. Right, so I hope guys uh, you are forming a habit of reading uh, because nandito talaga no? maraming wisdom and knowledge na makukuha sa pagbabasa sa Bible and isa nga sa mga experiences ko is I keep reading a lot of books no? but uh, biglang pumasok sa isip ko why, why not I read the Bible uh, this was the time na hindi pa ako palabasa talaga. And then, uh, sabi ko, if God really uh, wrote this book, marami ako matututunan. And, yun nga, true and true, talagang ano, naintindihan ko yung, ano, yung uh, maraming uh, aspeto sa buhay. And, uh, binuksan, binuksan yung isip ko sa maraming bagay na nung dati, is hindi ko nakikita. And I hope guys na itong pag-share ko sa inyo you, you are encouraged no para basahin itong Bible and para maintindihan niyo kung ano yung uh, laman nito. And I hope guys that uh, you're learning something no tong weekly na pag-share ko sa inyo. And with that, right? So again, lu- tulad ng sinasabi ko sa inyo, lagi if you want something 100%, read the Bible. Alright, so itong mga sasabihin ko, itong mga watch list, 
it's all about probabilities no so nothing is 100% and uh talagang nandito lang naman tayo no for the review for the generation of the ideas bouncing of ideas all right so i hope guys na you put into context no kung ano yung mga sinasabi ko rito because uh tulad nga nung ating logo nakalagay doon is number one, you should take responsibility of all of your trades all right so with that let's start our review all right so again for, for the week no last week ang ating forecast was we should be careful no so uh talagang ano talagang ano medyo medyo shaky yung ano yung week last week and uh, wala masyadong action konting konti lang but uh as we see no we we close at 7962 we we've gained four, 54 points and we'll take it as a good news and uh with that no hindi masyadong tumaas yung index but uh we see na nagkaroon ng rotation all right so for, for our index names we see yung ICT SMC and RLC no gaining strength once again no nagpalit yung mga pangalan and we were seeing rotation no hindi masyadong tumaas yung index but we see nagkaroon ng balasahan no sa index kung sino yung mga lumakas right so with that uh sa ating PSEI as we can see we have the uh, support around this uh, 79 below 79 area and we're seeing resistance dito no sa sa 81 level to 82 and we're currently uh, in a range no and uh maganda naman uh, as you can see dito sa area na to uh, tumalbog naman siya sa support and uh, hopefully this week na uh, mag uptrend siya no at least to try to take out itong level na to. Right, so may medyo ano na eh, I'm, I'm, I'm turning really bearish. But uh, maganda naman yung pinakita, nagkaroon ng mga rotation. And nag-hold naman yung support, no? We have yung 1, 2, and 3 support dito. Mukhang malakas yung support na yun. And right now, it's just a, ano talaga, it's just a waiting game. Kung sino yung mga magko-confirm, no? Or yung mga magtataasan sa index. Right, with that, right, let's now move on sa ating move of the week. This comes from uh, ZHI. Pangita nyo naman, I think for the last two weeks, almost malalaki yung mga percentage gain. But even itong uh, ZHI na very uh, penny stock, 9% lang no? in one day. And uh, as we can see, merong, merong strong support dito sa sa so, 33 or 3350 and uh, kung kung lalaruin nyo to at least intraday and this is just for your technicals right so for for day traders medyo mahirap ito for for the new or beginning traders medyo iwasan nyo muna to no? but if you're going to to play this at least dun sa point 33 or 3350 medyo may nakikita tayo magandang ano uh, support dun sa sa CHI again I, I recommend this only for intraday players. And if you haven't uh, developed yet the skill, wag nyo munang pakailaman itong CHI because uh, mahirap i-trade to, right? So, mabilis ang execution dito. And if you don't have the time para bantayan to, and mabablock ay ang kanitong CHI, right? That is, that is just uh, for, for your technicals, right? So, so, we're almost done with February. And ang ating rating would be neutral at least observe muna no at least maganda nakita natin nag hold yung support ng index and from last week medyo slow yung activity and uh maganda rin naman no unlike last week na we see a lot of breakdowns ngayon naman at least kahit pa paano hindi na ganoon ka kalala no at least last week we see yung Pcore SSI PRMX Puro breakdown, right? So, sumabay pa yung X, CHP, di ba? Right, again, uh, sa nakita nating action na yun, we see again yung resurgence ng SMC, San Miguel and FB, or yung uh, food and beverage uh, division nila. And that is good, no? At least, uh, may rumilyebo. Di ba? Kasi we see, at least for the last 2 to 3 weeks, we see yung ALI, SMPH, na nagli-lead ng index but right, right right now no we see yung SM 
SMC naman, ICT, RLC, yung mga humalili. Right? So, that's good. At least, uh, kahit pa paano, we, we see yung rotation. Uh, medyo hirap talaga yung, ano, yung ALI and SMPH. And with that, we're going to see kung ano yung mga watch list, no? Or mga stocks that we should be watching at. At, uh, pwede natin pasukin, no? Yung malalakas talaga. This is our core watch list. No? Maganda rin sa core watch list. Hindi to basta-basta bumabagsak. Alright. For FDC, we're, if you're going to see itong mga group of candles na to, this is very, ano, tawag dito, uh, hesitant and uh, there's a lot of confusion, no? Parang, it's not yet ready to, to go up. Medyo malalaki yung ranges and uh, puro weak. Sabihin, it wants to go down. And, and for us, ito yung magandang buy point, no? At least dito sa 1350 uh, area to at least 1330. Uh, Maganda, nagre-reject siya, no? So, again, uh, I think it's more than safe to say na uh, it's waiting for a catalyst at this point in time. And ano yung catalyst na yun? Uh, again, yung quarterly uh, disclosures, no? Ng finances, maaaring mag-trigger dito sa FDC for now. I think it would just accumulate at the support and uh, without any uh, catalyst or disclosures. Medyo baka mahirapan itong FDC. But uh, kung, kung medyo long term ka or medyo matagal-tagal mo siyang uh, ibibenta, medyo maganda rin pwesto itong FDC no? doon sa area na yun. No? At least dito sa area na to, we're seeing support. Right? So once na nahihit niya yung support or yung area na yun, merong bumibili. But with the formation of candle nga, in cycle sa inyo, medyo may hesitation. No? Medyo hindi pa siya decidido na umakyat. And we're seeing no? na parang nalilito pa siya. Right, so that's our first no, watch list. We now move on sa ating isa pa, no? sa, sa green. Alright, with green, we see yung pop ng malaking volume rito at this area na to. May gapa pa nga. Uh, one of the rare, rare... Uh, flags formation na nakikita natin. And maganda to, no? Uh, it is uh, moving up at a very, very slow uh, slow phase and uh, nagko-consolidate sa top. And uh, I think once we hit yung 340, uh, blue skies na to. But right now, medyo hirap pa rin. As we can see, medyo sumasabay rin siya sa index. And ang maganda rito sa pattern na to, isa to sa mga ano talaga malalakas na pattern itong itong ganyan na ano uh, bull flag or yung iba ascending triangle yung tawag nila diyan. Right? So the last time that I saw this pattern, if I'm not mistaken, current, currently no, sa situation ngayon sa sa buong index, meron bang ganito? I, I don't think isa lang yata to. Yung may gantong pattern, ganun siya ka rare tong full flag na to as far as, as far as i'm concerned no wala pa akong naalala na mayroong bull flag the last time that i saw this pattern sa pf no yung pure puts pa siya ba, bago siya naging fb ganito rin siya before it it, it move no na very very volatile nagpo formation muna siya ng ganito eh no yung full flag isang spike na ganun tapos maliliit na candles tapos ascending so don't ignore this volume. Medyo, I think, uh, gumanda-ganda lang yung in ating index. We can see na itong green will finally uh, move up, no? Before it finally uh, become volatile once again. So, pwestuhan muna sa green. And, maganda-ganda na rin naman, no? Na na itong green kung wala kang time na bumili dun sa actual day of breakout. And, isa pa, Mahirap din tiyempohan nito, itong breakout na ganito. Unless you're, you have the whole day or you have the a lot of time para bantayan yun. No? Ang ganda sana to buy on the breakout. But if you don't have the time, at least partially, medyo bumili-bili ka na at pumesto ka na rito sa green. I think this uh, may, may gagalaw pa to, Right? Itong green energy. And as always, uh, manage your list na lang. Baka naman mag-all in ka rito. Bigla kang bagsa ka na isang ganun. ba? 
So anything can still happen sa green and you just have to take uh, tawag dito. Take on a defensive stance then pag uh, dating doon, no. All right, FB I think uh, finally na confirm siya from the price squeeze na nangyari. But right now it's currently hitting yung uh, manipis na manipis na resistance and uh, for me no uh, sidelines muna ako dito and we'll try to see if mabibreak niya tong uh, resistance na to no maganda rito uh, we're seeing good activity and Let's let's just wait no for the meantime let's go on the sidelines and let's try to check and see kung ano gagawin niya if the resistance with the with will hold or will the resistance break finally para sa ating FB no diba ito yung sinasabi ko sa inyo na pattern dati oh yung parang sa green energy nakita niyo to one big spike and then malilit na candles spike yan yung, yan yung pattern na ginagawa ng green. Hopefully, ganyan yung gawin niya, no? But, uh, we're seeing, no? Na maganda rin naman itong FB. And we're, we're going to see, no? Kung mag-hold itong resistance na to. Medyo maganda-ganda rin ito pinapakita, no? Definitely, ilagay niya sa watchlist itong FB. Isa to sa mga nag-rotate. And, uh, maganda yung uh, tinatakbo ni ng FB na to, no? And, uh, Let's now move on sa isa pa sa ating mga watch list. Again, yung mother company niya, SMC. Again, very, uh, mas maganda yung formation ng FB compare sa SMC. And very similar, no? Merong resistance na 52-week high. And it's currently touching yung resistance. And again, I want you to go on the sideline first and let's try to check and see. Same sa FB situation, kung mabibreak niya or pwede mag-retrace no? sa SMC. And maganda sana mabreak niya no? para at least may, may ano tayo. May pwede tayong uh, pasukin for the next week. Again, watchlist na lang muna. Uh, pag ganito, medyo 50-50 ball to. Kung, kung hindi tayo sigurado eh, no? kasi baka by next week mag slide down yung index definitely ma maapektuhan tong mga ano na to tong mga nag rotate na to and uh, maaring mag uh, retrace siya right last but not the least we're seeing yung JGS with a big big volume no talaga kung baga sa ano umusli eh finally kaya niya naman na break yung darbas box niya no currently at 68 50, no? JGS. Maganda, no? Maganda yung JGS. Ang isa sa mga nakikita na nating resistance dito na maganda-gandang bentahan is around uh, 75, I think, no? Or be below 75, magandang ano. Uh, yun nga, uh, JGS, isa sa mga laggards to. Finally recovering, no? Since uh, the third quarter last year, medyo maganda-ganda yung uh, uptrend niya, no? And uh, this 2019, nag-consolidate siya ng mga bandang January and ngayon, finally nag-pop, no? Kitang-kita mo yan, Brad. Usling-usli yan. And uh, pwede ka nang bumili, no? Kahit hindi ka na siguro tumawad. And uh, if you are more skeptical dito sa JGS, buy ka na lang dito ulit, no? Kasi i-re-retest niya for sure itong support area na to, no? This we're, we're trying, we're, we're seeing, no? Na finally, may nag-rotate na rin na malalakas. GGS, SMC, and FB. And we'll try to see if mag-tutuloy-tuloy uh, to, no? For our, ano, for our index. Again, maraming salamat sa panonood And hopefully, you're, you're learning something. And lahat ng mga comments and mga watchlist natin, is a mere possibility lang no so nothing is 100% and i hope you are uh, doing your best no para at least to to polish the entries of your trades again maraming maraming salamat uh, this is PSEI recap